So classification is something that we need to apply in our daily lives, um, but also as well as in math. So in this video, in this series of four problems, we will be looking at different ways of how to solve them using classification um, in our solutions. So um, let's get started. So here's problem one. So we're being asked out of those numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and five, six, and seven, take three numbers. If the product of these three numbers has to be a multiple of three, what are the different ways to take three numbers at once? So first, what, why would, why would the person writing this problem um, write the last two words in all caps, you might ask? Well, that means, that's reminding us something very important. So, when it says at once, it means that there's no order. It doesn't matter if you take a two and then a one and then a three. It doesn't matter if you take a three and then a two and then a one. So that does, those two would be, be would be taken um, as the same type of combination, all right? So there is no ordering in this. Now, because there is no ordering, should we use the A or shall we use the V? C. So A, A, M, N, referring to when is we're referring to when there is a order. When you have to pick something first and then you pick something second and then something third, fourth, so on. C is just saying combination. So any combination. So if you're using C, it would be like red and blue, and blue and red are the same situation, okay? So this is using C. So that's the first thing you have to identify. This is very important. And then, it's just trying, time to apply classification in this. So there, as you can see in one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, there is two multiples of three, three and six. So because there are this much um, multiples of three, we have to at least take one, right? But is it okay if we take both? That's fine. So our first, our first circumstance is if we take both. I mean, if we take one. So if we only take one, it would be either three or six. So out of, so we were right, C, and out of two multiples, multiples of three, we take one. All right, and then for the remaining ones, out of, out of the five, nine multiples of three, we take two more. So this will give us 20, 20 different ways. But we also have to think about our second circumstance, which is take both. If we take both, how many different possibilities will there be? If we take both, the equation will be written as C and out of, out of two, take both, so we take two. And then out of the five remaining ones, out of the five remaining ones, take one more. And that would give us, that would give us five. So our final answer to this problem would just be 20 plus five, which is 20.